friends. Welcome back to Bell and Pomegranate. My name is Mary. I'm going to try and make this short. I filmed it earlier and it was 15 minutes long and I don't want this to be 15 minutes long. So uh, today I want to talk about why Christians should be involved in the local church. And I feel like anybody can really benefit even if you're not a Christian, but why should Christians, specifically people that claim that Jesus is Lord and Savior of their lives, be going to a local church? So I think the number one thing that people don't go to church for is they've been hurt by the church. They've been hurt by a leader or just by the the people of the church in general. And one thing I like so much that Billy Graham says is if you wait till you find a perfect church, you'll never find it. And if you did find the perfect church and then you joined it, it would no longer be perfect. Um, I've been hurt by the church personally. I know my husband's been hurt by different churches and it's so easy to just shut down. It's so easy to say, okay, well, they broke my heart and now I'm done. And I'll do this on my own with YouTube and the Bible. And I think that uh, that's such a sad way to live. Uh, my husband went 10 years without going to church because of how hurt he was by the church. And I think that in that he would admit that he missed out on so much. He missed out on so much learning and so much fellowship. And if there is a church that breaks your heart or they're not doing things biblically or loving biblically, then I think that you can go and, I mean, there's probably other churches in your neighborhood. <laughs> Another thing, uh, this is probably the most used scripture for this, but Hebrews 10, 25, do not forsake the gathering of the saints. But we are not to forsake the gathering of the saints. We are not to uh, dismiss it or decide to go on our own. We are meant to, and this leads me into my next point, um, we are a member of the body of Christ. And this goes to uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 14, and also Ephesians 4, 1 through 6. All right, so this is Ephesians 4, 1 through 6, right? Yes. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called in one hope for your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So uh, I read that. I mean, I read it, but that was, yeah. Um, so we are all of the body. You can also read 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 14. And not only do you need the body, say you are a hand, but that, I mean, what good is a hand without the rest of the body? But also what good is the body without the hand? So not only do you need the body of Christ, but the body of Christ needs you. The body of Christ needs the spiritual gifts that you've been given by God. The body of Christ needs you and you need them. So it's so the whole, uh, the whole body works together, which leads me to my next point. Um, as Christians, we are called to love what Jesus loves, and the church is considered the bride of Christ. Not you, the bride of Christ. The church is considered the bride of Christ. And if you don't love the church, it's sort of like saying, I love you, Jesus, but I don't love your wife. We're meant to love the church. We're meant to love the people of God, and we're meant to be there for each other. Uh, which leads me into my last point. You should be in the church for encouragement, growing accountability and comfort. In going through a difficult time, it's so important to have a church that's there for you. It's so important to have a church that can comfort you, can come alongside you. Additionally, it's so important if you're going through a hard time through an addiction to have accountability and the people of God would be there to walk beside you. You need an accountability buddy. Uh, to help make sure that you stay on track and stay on the path. Um, also for growing and encouragement, iron sharpens iron, and we are meant to sharpen each other, to help each other grow, and to give each other the encouragement to press on and fight the good fight. Dogs, please. So anyway, I hope I, I mean, there's so many there's so much more I could go into. I'm trying to keep my videos below six minutes long and 
um, is kind of hard, especially when I want to read lots and lots of scripture. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to get that out there. I didn't film a video last week because I wasn't inspired to, and I'm not going to force a Jesus video. And uh, anyway, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like the video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have a question or if you need a Bible or if you have a prayer request. And um, thank you. Have a blessed day.